How are you? Oh man, my wife. Good to see you. Hey, this is one of my favorite features of the Peak Mountain Camps. This is a, called a Dutch door, so it opens on the top, stays closed on the bottom. Nice heavy duty door, sealed here on the on the side, sealed in the in the center, so you won't get water blowing in. You'll notice the powder coated seal all around the top, and also running lights on the very top of the camp. We didn't have that on Camp 216. That's going to be on the new camps. That's a nice new feature. But everything on these camps has been pretty much redesigned from the ground up. The frames are different. Um, the frames, with the company that we worked for before, we had some problems with frames. Um, so we redesigned the tongues. These tongues will not break. They're, they're a good tongue, good solid tongue. I'm going to tell you, this folding step is, it's heavy, it's, it's very substantial. The one we had on 216 was pretty substantial. This is significantly increased. The other nice thing is they've taken into account that with a heavy camp like this, most most owners are going to want to use a weight distribution sway control hitch, and they've allowed right here room for that sway bar to go without interfering with this step. If someone wants to look at your camp while you're on the road and you're hooked up, you can fold this step down and not pop a torsion bar off so you can get up and look inside. This is significantly different. This beam here is heavier and there's a beam that runs down the center down the full length of the camp all the way to the back so this is a much more substantial frame you've got the ability to adjust the height of your tongue and even this this is a small detail but this is a solid cord it's not cables covered in plastic tubing this is a solid piece of equipment that gives quality the camps that we have been doing for for quite a while we had just used the, the expanded metal yep. and after time that expanded metal will start to Sags. give a little bit. Yep. So we've changed some decking on them. Um, we've got a couple of different options we can do. We can do this purple grade decking or we can also do the square grade but it cleans out a lot better, uh, holds up a lot better, it's a lot more substantial than the camps that we had built previously. Also we can make an option where we could actually put a, a box underneath this that you can store your blocks and stuff, or that you could lift one of these out and, and shove your box or your blocks underneath it and your jack handles and some of that stuff. Pick this one up, and now I've got a spot that I can put my blocks, little bits of equipment. They're out of the way, they're safe going down the road. I'm gonna be wanting to talk to you about that. You know, it's just using space, and, yeah. and that's one thing that we pride ourselves on is the use of space in these trailers. Um, they're well thought out, well designed, and the use of space in them is great. You're not gonna find it in any other RV. Here's an example of, of the upgrade here. This door reminds me of a hatchway on a ship in the Navy. It's curved, you've got a bulb seal here, and then there's a seal on the door here. So when you close this door, this is sealed all the way around. This is not gonna leak. And what I like here is there's a space right here. So any water that gets in here, it's not gonna go in here. It's going to sit here and come out. So we redesigned these also, double seals on them so they won't leak. Nice tight, they're still a solid door, um, but they seal much better. And, and then you've got the two locks on the, double, on the big doors and the single lock on the small door. This is kind of cool over on this side. The spare tire is tucked up out of the way, but Getting access to this tire, if you ever need it, is going to be very easy because there's a little rod that comes out here, and this is just like um, sort of the tire retention system on Big Red. He's tucked up out of the way with this cable, and all you do is roll this with a handle, and it will lower the tire down or tuck it up right in a nice snug spot up out of the way. Um, the ceilings and the roof's been re redesigned. N now it's not only got a ridge beam, but it's got a main beam running also that that gives it a lot more strength. Some things that I noticed that are different right away just walking in the shop. The, the camps that we're looking at now are wider. The wheelbase uh, of the, uh, the uh, suspension is wider and I, I just have a sense they're going to track nicer on the road. They're also taller and of course I'm short but when I'm standing in the camp I can barely touch the ceiling so you get this real sense of roominess which we always had in our camp to start with because of the 
open floor plan, but it really feels even more roomy now because they're so tall. I'm pretty excited about the fact that we just bought our second camp. Everything just is upgraded. Um, just the whole level of the quality is, I think, increased, and it, uh, it really reflects great craftsmanship. We appreciate that. A lot of the changes have come because of you guys. I mean, we listen to our customers. We want to know what, what works and what doesn't work.